Do you want to learn my number one secret to still having a lot of focus while having side hustles? Now when I hear the word side hustle, I sometimes cringe because it's gotten a really bad reputation. <laughs> it kind of means that we're hustling too much, we're overly busy, we, you know, we're, we have to have all these different hustles. So I prefer to call it a passion project, alter, alternate revenue streams, but whatever you call it, I want to talk today about getting focused even while you have multiple side hustles. And if you watch to the end, I want to give away my number one resource that can actually help you manage these side hustles. I'm so glad you landed on this channel today. For the best organizing advice and hopefully inspirational tips, mostly around organizing your business, please hit the bell below to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. Not a finance expert or a bookkeeping expert or a marketing expert, but you want to have a side hustle? That's okay, Anne. You've come to the right place. I've had side hustles since the 1980s before they were even called side hustles. <laughs> but I really have a good system on how to organize all the streams perfectly. And it's taken me a long time, but now I wanna share that with you. I'm Jane Stoller, I'm a life biz organizer, and I found my passion in decluttering spaces and business processes. I've written two lifestyle organizing books, and for the past 10 years, I've been helping businesses organize the back end of their systems and processes to scale and become super efficient. And now I wanna help you. I'm gonna jump right in, and the most important thing is you have to know what your one thing is, and that is the most important part of, let's say, your current business or your current career. So you can have lots of side hustles and different revenue streams, but there's likely one that is where you spend the most amount of time, it probably brings you the biggest revenue, or it's gonna be your legacy business. It could be your career that you're currently in, or one part of your business that is the most focused for you. But I really spend at least four hours a day on my one thing, and even more sometimes. But the book that I read that really changed things for me was called The One Thing by Gary Keller, and it talks a lot about protecting your time for that, how to figure out what the one thing is, <laughs> but really making sure that you protect the time to work on that. So for me personally, my one thing in my business is in Organized Jane is my six week accelerator course to help you get the back end of your business organized. That is the one thing that every day I spend a minimum of four hours on. I block my time immensely. I protect it. <laughs> I don't let anyone or anything disturb me when I'm working on projects for that or talking to clients. It is my one thing. I do have lots of other revenue streams and side hustles, let's say they call, <laughs> but that is my one thing. Now the second part, after we've determined the one thing and the amount of time you are or should be spending on that, I want you to do this second thing, which is called a time audit. And this is super important if you're gonna have especially multiple streams of revenue or side hustles, whatever you call it, because you need to know how much time you have to devote to those before you even start something else or uh, maybe you're already too overloaded. So I'm really big on time audits because that's where you can really get down to the nitty gritty of what you're, wh where you're spending your time in a week and your time is the most valuable asset for any of these businesses um, or streams of revenue. So I encourage you to this week Look at where you're spending your time and see how much you have left over after you do your one thing. Is it 30 minutes a day? Is it five hours a day? What is it every single day that you have left over and that can be transferred into your side hustles? If you don't know where to start on time tracking, send me an email, my email is just below here, um, to jane at organizedjane.com and I will send you a simple time tracking sheet that you can start using right away to track your time for a week to see how much you have left over. And I include both personal and business activities in my timesheets because they're all, that's how you determine how much time you have left over. Comment below on how much time you're currently spending on your side hustles. Maybe you don't know this because you haven't done the time audit yet. <laughs> Maybe you just have a guesstimate, but give me just a current time limit, time you're spending on side hustles. This could be anything from, you know, being a fitness coach, teaching classes, from selling beauty counter products to you know consulting on the side. Whatever it is, how much time currently do you think you're spending on your side hustles every single week? Now my third tip is really my favorite because if you know me, I love to make things efficient, systematized. <laughs> I have a really good process for it and that means your side hustles too. As much as you can, bring in processes, automate it, streamline it, make it more efficient. As, the sooner you can do that, the better it'll be and the more time it'll take off your plate so you can focus more on the actual doing of it or selling of it or working on it. So you can do this for any, any side hustle. For example, if you're teaching fitness classes and that's one of your side hustles, can you get them automatically scheduled in your calendar? Can you send invites automatically to your referrals or to your upcoming um, course attendees? Whatever it may be to make it more efficient. Um, from the payments to the how, how you get the service or um, to your customer, all of those things. 
Um, as well, if you do a lot of social media marketing for the side hustles, you should have a way to be able to schedule those, get them more automated. And if you need some tips on how to schedule social media, you can link to this video and I give you my top two tools to do that for any business. Also, going along with that, whether whatever it may be, you should have some kind of process to keep track of the numbers, the metrics and the financial numbers. So I'm really big on this. Um, a, a side hustle too, you can do a lot of write-offs. You're likely going to be collecting some kind of invoices and we forget often about it. So set it up in the beginning if you can, but it's already going. It's not too late. Link to this video and I'll show you really simply how to get your accounting organized. This can be for any business or side hustle or whatever you call it. It works. Now, as a thank you for watching, as I mentioned in the beginning, I want to give you my number one resource that has really helped me uh, change my life for my business and it'll change your life for all of your side hustles, <laughs> is really to get those receipts digitized. So if you link below, you can uh, get my guide and it's a simple instructions on how to start doing this and it also gives you my top three recommendations for apps to use. So go ahead, click that link and start getting your receipts organized for all of your side hustles and or your main business. <laughs> I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next Tuesday.